to all the Major League Baseball teams that are putting netting up along the first base and third base lines. As a father, I just want to say thank you. Hey guys, it's Josh, the Nanny Know It All, coming to you today to talk about a subject that has really kind of uh, been on my mind for a while. It's been on Major League Baseball's mind for a while, and that is the subject of nets going up along the first base and the third base line, all the way down to the foul poles, or at least near that area. And, you know, as I said in my intro, I, I want to say thank you to the teams that are doing that, um, because it helps me, when I go to games, to feel more comfortable. And it's not because... Um, I'm there and I, I don't feel safe is because I've got two daughters. Uh, one is almost turning eight, one is three, and there's no way they can defend themselves against foul balls and things like that. Now, I know a lot of people will say, well, don't sit in that area. And I understand that, but to say that you can't sit in an area because of the chance of a foul ball, it really ruins the experience for families. And let's be honest. Uh, we need families to come to games to build that younger generation. We need those little league boys and girls to get excited about the game of baseball. And sitting in the 300 level up in La La Land really isn't going to do that. It, it just isn't. You know, for some kids it will, but for the most part, kids are going to be bored sitting up there. And I know there's people out there who argue that there should be, uh, that people need to pay attention, this and that. And, and I wanted to talk about some of those uh, arguments, some of those discussion points, and kind of give my voice to this. Uh, I, I've heard a lot of people talk about it and complain about it, and it's time for me to, to really step up and say what I'm thinking. So um, the first debate or first topic that people will talk about a lot of time is um, that people need to pay attention during the games. They need to stay off their phones, and I understand that. Um, you know, when you're out at the ballpark, I, I want people to go out there and watch the game and have fun and enjoy it. But when I go to games with my family, my wife doesn't like baseball that much. She really doesn't enjoy it. Um, once again, my daughters are still pretty young. And although they'll watch the game for a little bit, they're not really focused and into the game. And so they want to do other things. So whether that's be on the phone or read a book or just uh, play around and goof off in the seats, they tend to not pay attention to the game as much. And so... They can't see when a ball is coming at them. And to be honest with you, even if they were paying attention, they wouldn't be able to stop a ball. They wouldn't be able to stop a ball. I'm not even sure they'd be able to dodge the ball depending on where we're sitting at. And so having nets gives me as a parent um, a comfort to know that my family is going to be safer. Um, is that 100% guaranteed they're going to be safe? No, but it adds a lot more protection and gives me the comfort to sit back in my seat and enjoy the game, to relax, to have fun, to be there. And so I don't have a problem from that aspect. I, I want the Nets to be up. Now, the, I don't think they need to go up near the outfield. Um, I think if you are sitting in the home run area, that's enough time to be able to react and move to a ball. Plus, there's enough people in that area usually to help react and cover you and, and get the ball for you before it hits someone. Um, so I don't think there needs to be nets out there along the first base and third base lines. Absolutely. Absolutely there needs to be nets because it protects not just kids but adults. Even an adult can't always react fast enough to stop a ball or dodge a ball even, even if they're sitting halfway down the line. Those balls come at you quick. They're hard to react to. And let's be honest, even Major League Baseball players have troubles reacting to those hard hit shots. How the heck are an average fan who wasn't good enough to play professional ball, wasn't good enough to even play college ball, going to react to that and be able to protect themselves? So I'm, I'm, I'm the type of person who leans towards safety because it doesn't make sense to knowingly put people at risk when something simple as a net can go up and protect them and I know a lot of people say well it ruins my view you know that's another big argument ruins my view and to that I, I say that's a load of crap that's a load of crap because my favorite seats at games are behind home plate behind nets behind a net 
I love those seats. At Lower Columbia College, when I go uh, and photograph games, when I'm, when I'm stopped and I'm taking a break, I sit behind home plate, behind the net, because I love it. And the net doesn't affect my view. It doesn't affect my enjoyment of the game in any way, shape, or form. It just doesn't. I, I love sitting back there. I would love to sit back there for a major league game. I've sat back there for minor league games. It, it's fun. I love it. Uh, down in Eugene, the entire box seat section, which I, I think is like 20, 24 sections all the way across. There's net in front of it the whole way. And I'll be honest, it makes it a little bit harder to photograph, although there are spots I can go to and take photographs. But as a fan sitting down watching the game, I love it. It's fun. I can relax. I don't have to worry about my, my daughters and what they're doing and whether or not they're safe or not. Uh, although in Eugene, if it does hit the, the press box area behind you, it can bounce back and hit fans that way. But that you have a lot more time to react and see. It's not the striking line drive. But at the same time, nets help me as a fan to relax and enjoy the game. And I think if people really realize that, that it doesn't ruin your view. It doesn't. You get used to it. It doesn't take but a couple minutes. And if you've never sat behind a net, it takes a few minutes and then you're used to it. And then you don't even realize it's there. You're looking out past it. You're seeing the game. And it doesn't ruin your view. It does not ruin your view. You know what ruins my view more than nets? It's when people are walking in front of me with their pop and their popcorn and their, and their stuff. And they're standing there talking. That's what ruins my view because I can't see through a person. I can see through a net. Okay, so I don't have issues with that. You know, and you know, another part of it, like for safety reasons, I, I've always brought my glove with me to games. Uh, because I have family, because I'm, I want to be able to try and cover as much ground as possible if I have to. But people ridicule and mock people for bringing gloves to baseball games, which blows my mind. There's, there's been talk show hosts, baseball talk show guys, who make fun of adults who bring gloves. Even though for many of us, and most people I know, we bring gloves to help protect ourselves, our family, and even those around us. I mean, my dad always goes to games with his glove and you know if there's people around him he knows that it's his responsibility to help knock it down and block it so they don't get hit that's it's what he's always done he's always felt that way and i feel the same way so we make fun of people for wanting to protect their family for wanting to protect themselves for wanting to um, just do go out and enjoy a game but yet you know it just drives me nuts that we won't take these simple precautions like putting nets up and you know, that's why I'm glad Major League Baseball is doing that. I'm glad that teams are doing that. You know, let's take the injuries out of it for fans and let them just enjoy the game. Let them just be out there and have fun. You know, a lot of people talk about, oh, well, now we won't get foul balls. So? So what? You didn't buy a ticket to go get a foul ball. You bought a ticket to go watch a game. Yes, getting a foul ball is awesome. You know, it's, it's a lot of fun to get one. But... At the risk of getting a line drive to the forehead, it's not worth it for me. Now, there's still fly balls that will go up over the net and come back down to the stands. You can get a foul ball there. It doesn't take away all the foul balls. It just stops the hard line drives that no one can react to. And a lot of people talk about, well, well, now we can't get autographs either. Let's be honest. At most major league ballparks, you're not going to get a lot of autographs before the game or after. And even with nets, you can still get autographs. Usually there's a gap down at the bottom where the fence is. You can slide cards through or balls through. Uh, you just can. I mean, even at minor league parks that have nets, I'm able to slide stuff through to get autographs. Always have been, always will be able to. So it doesn't really ruin the autograph experience. So, I mean, that, that's just BS. If, if your number one concern about going to a game is whether or not you can get a try and get a card signed instead of watching a game and having fun and just relaxing then you're there for the wrong reason. You now, if you want to get autographs, go to the shows, go to the Fan Fest events, go to the Caravan events, go to all that stuff, and you can get autographs nice and easy. And once again, most players won't sign before games anyways. I mean, the Mariners rarely sign when I go up there, and maybe that's changed the last couple of years since I haven't gone, but, man, there'd be years I'd go up there and go to multiple games, and I'd see maybe one player sign before a game, and that'd be it. So... If you're going there for autographs, it's not the best place to begin with. So uh, that, that argument really doesn't make sense to me either. So I'm glad that nets are going up. Once again, I think the safety of the fans is more important than the the complaining and the whining of these 
ultra macho guys who, you know, in their better days, maybe you could have gone pro had their coach not sat them on the bench because they sucked. Um, that, that's the truth. It's a lot of pl- guys who, who they're, they're great in their own mind, but in real honesty, they couldn't throw, they couldn't catch, they couldn't hit. And they're, they're out here doing this. And I, and I hate that. I hate that those people can ruin the game or tarnish the game because of their toxic fandom. And it's getting worse. It's getting worse. And I'll actually hopefully talk about that in another video. But nets need to go up. It lets people enjoy the game and relax. It really does. I, I sit behind nets all the time, like I've said. And I can relax. I can sit back. I can enjoy my hamburger or my hot dog and, and sit back and have fun and watch a game and enjoy the sunshine. And so I wish more people would, would understand that. I think most people do. Uh, the, the vast majority understands this. And I know some people will say, well, I understand it. I'm okay with it. I don't necessarily like it, but I understand that I'm okay with it. And that's great. You don't have to necessarily like it, but understand why it's there and don't try and be the macho person, you know, because it doesn't look good for you. It doesn't look good for the game. So guys, those are my thoughts on nets around Major League Baseball. I'm all for it. Um, if you're against it, that's your choice. Uh, you can unfollow me. I don't care because this is important to me. This protects my family and lets me enjoy the game of baseball. So guys, I'm Josh and now you know it all. Thanks for watching this video and I will catch you guys on the next video. See you later.